Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to boot any image you have. 128 gigabytes, 200 gigabyte image, 64, it doesn't matter. Um, how to boot any of those images off of an external hard drive. So a few things you're going to need, either an external hard drive with its own power source, or if you have one that is normally powered by USB, more than likely your Raspberry Pi is probably not going to be able to handle it so you might need an external USB hub that has its own power source um, as an example I'll show you guys real quick before I cut to what needs to be done but so right here I have some cheap old hard drive um, I think I got this off of Amazon couple years ago for probably about 20 20 25 dollars 500 gigabyte hard drive um, with that I'm gonna have to show you with the camera I am using an Anker USB hub which is plugged in straight into my Raspberry Pi the only other thing I have plugged in is a keyboard USB adapter, wireless adapter. But that's pretty much it. Either a hard drive with its own power source, or if you have one that doesn't have its own power source, more than likely you're going to need some kind of USB hub. You've got to make sure it's something that's passed through to the PC or you know to your Raspberry Pi. It cannot be something that just charges devices so don't make that mistake and get the wrong one um, that's pretty much what you're gonna need plus a micro SD card it can be small it could be a 4 gig a 2 gig a 1 gig a whatever 256 megabyte it doesn't matter you just need to copy some files over to it and I'm gonna show you right now but the attract mode image that you see running right now is running off of this hard drive. It's not running off of an SD card. I have an old um, 4 gigabyte SD card in the Retro Pi right now. But from here, I'm going to go ahead and cut and show you what needs to be done. Okay, so back on the PC. Let's get rid of this nonsense. Let's get out of that. So what you're going to need to do is whatever hard drive you're going to use um, as long as it's at least big enough to put your image on it's not going to matter so you're going to make sure you format that drive and then make sure you have you know the Win32 disk imager installed I don't have the image files on this PC but just to go over it's pretty pretty simple you guys already know how to how to burn your image but look up your image find the drive num the drive letter for your hard drive that you plugged into your PC and then just write that image so that's gonna take a little while obviously but from there you wanna make sure whatever SD card you're gonna use has been um, formatted as well and it's clean there's nothing nothing on it and what you're gonna do once your hard drive has the image on it it's gonna look just like your normal SD card so what you're gonna do is is you're gonna open up your hard drive copy all this stuff that you see copy it over to your SD card and then from your SD card what you're gonna wanna do is is go into the command line dot text and you're gonna scroll over and you're gonna look for this root equals oops I wanna be typing stuff there but the root equals forward slash dev whatnot you're gonna wanna delete this put SDA2 and then at the very last part of the line space root delay equals 10 and then from there 
go ahead and save close it out I'm not saving mine but I've already done it on another on the card that's in there um, but then you're gonna go ahead plug in your SD card into your Pi and then plug in your hard drive like I said either if it's got its own power supply plug it plug it directly into the uh, Raspberry Pi if it doesn't you're gonna have to plug it into one of these external USB that has its own external power uh, one of those kind of hubs typically you can find them for fairly cheap I usually like buying Anker or Anker whatever you call it uh, I have a lot of stuff from them so I have a hub that they put out I think it might have been like 15 or 16 bucks um, off of Amazon the link will be in my description if you looking for that or looking for any of the stuff that I use such as the arcade parts uh, the capture card or microphone any of the stuff that I use if you guys are interested in purchasing any of that stuff it would do me a great favor by purchasing it through the links in my descriptions um, but from there if you guys have any questions hit me up and I'll try my best to help you out but I think that pretty much covers it thank you guys